standard radio technology is um, something that's been employed by base station manufacturers to allow transmission of multiple different radio standards um, from a single base station. Um, with the advent of LTE, um, adding on to wideband CDMA and GSM, um, the regulators such as um, Ofcom in the UK have uh, reallocated the bands so that a network operator can transmit multiple standards in one single uh, frequency band. For example, uh, this could give uh, rise to LTE signals sitting right next to a wideband CDMA signal or right next to a GSM signal. And because the signals are of different types of modulation, this can cause multiple problems, um, such as very high crest factors or peak to average power ratios, when maybe you have a GSM signal turning on um, at a particular point um, in time for a new frame starting maybe on the wideband CDMA signal or an LTE signal. So it, this gives base station manufacturers some new challenges in terms of what really needs to be measured. Uh, the 37.141 standard uh, specifies new uh, band categories and capability sets that cut down the complexity somewhat. But for a test vendor we need to be able to um, really identify problems in a base station in terms of when is um, a really bad signal um, being generated by the base station um, because of when one signal is being turned on in relation to uh, a new frame in the other standard. So the multi-standard radio capability in our signal analyzers allows us to do exactly that. Um, with up to 320 megahertz bandwidth we can capture um, a whole band of uh, signals that have been transmitted from a base station demodulate all the signals such as LTE, wideband CDMA and GSM simultaneously and at the same time time align um, so that when a GSM signal is turning on we can see exactly what point in an LTE frame or wideband CDMA frame that uh, bad EVM or really bad modulation quality is being generated and this could be related to um, an amplifier that's um, being overloaded or overdriven at that point in time or um, any other problem in the, in the system, but the key point is being able to time align between the different types of standards um, and make it much easier for a base station manufacturer to pinpoint exactly where the faults may be occurring.